my Callaway rep stopped by and we're going to talk about some epic new equipment. Stay tuned and we're really going to go over these club heads. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop and if you like what you see going forward on these things, hit the like button and uh, subscribe for us and that way you can see more of what we're doing. So let's get right to it. All right, my, my Callaway rep Mike stopped by and the big hot topic right now is the Epic Iron. Epic Iron. And as I like to do, I like to show what's going on. You can see all the, the cartooning or computerized graphic you want, but nothing makes up for real life. So, what are some of the attributes of the Epic? Okay, let's talk about that first. Well, the number one thing is this is still a forged iron, okay? It's not your traditional forged iron, but it is a forged iron. I haven't seen anybody really mention that so much as they get into the 360 cup face. Now, the 360 cup face is exactly that. It is, if you were to look sideways, it's kind of like a, um, the hands are kind of out of the bigger, but it's kind of like that, and it fits onto the, onto the back end or the side of the club, and I'm going to show you here in a minute. And that what that allows is a larger margin for error, okay? And when you do that, uh, so the, those of us who get it out onto the toe, it's not nearly as penal. If you don't get that 360 because you set it inside the club face, then all of a sudden you've removed a usable or at least a flexing spot at least about an eighth inch all the way around. And then when you get out there on that toe, it not only draws and hurts your eye teeth, but you're, it's very penal. You use a lot of distance. So let me show you what this means. So I've got the cutaway. So here's the back side. Here's the front side. And, uh, and there's, the, there's that. So how does this work? There's your cup face. Now you notice how you see that ledge down there on the bottom? I'm going to turn this around. And there's a lip that goes all the way around. That's cup face. And as I've seen on uh, some of the other uh, information from Callaway, is that the face thickness varies in here as well. Uh, but now you see how that's got all, that's what cup face means. I'm going to put another piece in my pocket here. And what it does, you see here's the cutaway. And you see how it fits. There's the better part. Uh, it fits right in there. So that means that this whole face becomes usable. Okay. Now obviously it's not going to hit as far as if you hit it right in the best part of the club, but you get the, it, the better performing. Okay. That's why cup face is so good. Better performing. And, and make sure that it's forged. Okay. On to the next thing. You've heard the internal standing wave. All right. The internal standing wave, if you want to just simplify it, it's a really heavy piece of, of combination of tungsten and steel. Right? What they do is they get whatever amount of tungsten and steel together and they put it into this molten oven so, for 50 hours so that it actually gets into, a, so it gets into a homogeneous mix. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. Now what it does in here, in this particular one, and this is a six iron, it sits right in there like that. All right, and so what that does is, as your loft is a little stronger, that all that weight in the bottom lowers your CG and the ball flies in the air, okay? So that low spin, high launch stuff, that's where this comes from. So what's really cool about this? Well, how, how, how did they get so they could use so much? Well, here's what they did. They hollowed out this area. That's never been done before as far as I know, not an iron at least. They hollowed that out, and that took about, what is it, 30 plus grams out and allowed it to get into this. This thing's heavy, okay? This is where your primary amount of your weight's at. And what it does is it changes, this changes spots and probably shape as the, as the iron changes. So the three, four, five has a lot, a lot of weight low, so it helps get the ball up in the air. And then it starts changing in shape and size in order so that each club this thing has a specific purpose for each club, and that's what makes this really important. Okay. The next part is is that you have the uh, you have the stiffening bar. So, uh, you know, we talked about the epic, and you had the jailbreak with the bars, right? 
Well, this is not bars, but it's in the same purpose. If you see these right here, okay, you see those? That is this in here, and that's a stiffening piece, okay? That's the, this is how this backing supports that face, okay? Get back here. Supports this face. Because this face is really, really thin, and it's really, and it, and you don't want, it, and it needs help. So the back stiffens it up so that the face is what makes it all jump off. Okay, and that's what makes this thing epic. All right. So and then you got the last piece. Everybody's like, "Oh, that's carbon stuff. That's carbon stuff." Yes, it is. It's carbon stuff, but it's a sticker. Okay. Let's get right down to business. It's a sticker, and it makes it look. It looks cool. All right. There are some folks out there that have a real problem with this look. I like it, okay? In fact, I like it a lot. I like the color combinations. I like the fact that we mixed a little carbon in there. You know, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of being different. Uh, and I don't think this is, you know, it's not like burnt orange or any of that other nonsense. This is just, I think it's actually kind of a conservative look, but it's more modern, and I like that. I like everything is still kind of rounded, even though it has a bit of a toe. And, uh, and it goes, okay? Uh, you're going to be able to get these standard. What comes in these things standard is the Project X LZ105. And the, uh, what? 95 in the standard. See, I'm getting help already. 95 in the standard. Oh, I hit the 105, and I'm here to tell you, get the 105. Uh, the 95 and 105 are, are light. Uh, but the 105, I think, is is a is a shaft weight that hits a lot of marks. Unless you're a gorilla, it's just like <laughs> you can't get that 105 is going to be great. If you're a little smoother, the 95 will hit right home. If you're a graphite guy, they sell the Recoil 760 and 780 ES. I have a set of those in my uh, steel heads. If you're a graphite guy, you're not going to find anything better. It's just that good. Okay. Now lofts, and I'm gonna. There'll be some here. There'll be some stuff over here uh, about comparing lofts. But when you look at them, the the regular model is very comparable to the regular models for your uh, steelheads, okay, and your CF16s, and your pro models are very similar to the steelhead pros. So now the real question is, does it go further? The answer is yes, it does go further. I hit it and I hit the seven iron. Let's say I hit my, I brought out mine, so I, you've got a graphite shaft versus a steel shaft. However, if it was really good, it would go further. And I hit my steel head, I carried it 175, went out to 183. I uh, got out the Epic with the steel shaft in it and I hit it to 178 and uh, 186. Uh, Three yards improvement. Now that's overall. I, I hit, uh, I think it's 14 shots a piece, so the good and the bad's in there. And and so it's longer, uh, technically. Now is it is three yards of something to go jumping up and down about? No. But you're going to see my dispersion is really funny. I had the dispersion of my steel head like this, and inside of it, there set the epic like that. So there has something to do with the weighting and, and prop quite possibly the weight. So I'm, hopefully I'm floating all this stuff up here when we go into the post-editing. So I wanted to show you uh, the real differences between the two models. Okay, this is the standard Epic. And this is the Epic Pro. You can tell it's the Epic Pro because right there in the medallion it says Pro. Okay. The other part is if you look here, here's the important part of these things. All right, so if everything is made the same, they're all forged, they all got the standing wave, they've all got the, the, uh, the stiffening uh, supports in the back, they've all got the nice graphics on the back, so now what's left? This. Okay, you see the difference there? The one, on the, the one here is your standard model, and one here is your pro model. All right, a little bit bigger sole and has a little bit more offset and it's a little bit stronger than this model okay and if you look as you can tell the one on the bottom is just slightly larger not by a bunch but a little bit all right and they're calling these cf-17s too so now you can have some code words between the two so a little bit bigger sole 
a little much stronger loft, a little more offset than what would be the pro model. Okay, so you know the the word on the street they cost a lot more, uh, and they do. But if you're looking for the distance, uh, and these things are performing, and you know I'm talking about. I just compared two of the latest, most technically advanced clubs compared and put them side by side, and it does go further. Now, uh, you go and put it against something that's three years of technology, and this Epic's going to smoke it. Okay, that's just what it is. Uh, and in, in every case, especially if you're going to spend this kind of money, go get fit. All right, just don't buy it off the rack. Go get fit for it. That way, you get the best of both worlds. You get the best collision. You're going to get the best results, the most consistency, all that stuff. Uh, so, uh, Epic irons, they're new. They're very nice, easy to look at. I love the top line on them. They're uh, the one on the regular models, just slightly thicker than the Pro model, and as it should be. Okay, uh, easy to look at. So, if you find yourself near a person that's got these things to hit, give them a shot. You might be pleasantly surprised. Okay. So hopefully you like the, uh, the blown apart on there uh, and that you like what we information and uh, hope you like the video. And if you like what you saw, hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe. That way you're going to see more. And let's see your scores go low. Okay, my Callaway rep just stopped by, and I have got a lot of fun to discuss with you. So, stay tuned, and we'll talk some more. Didn't like that a bit. There, you can see all the, you can see all the, the really hodge. Okay, and as I've seen on, as I've seen, <laughs>